Welcome back everyone. This is uh, part two. Uh, you probably saw the introduction uh, um, where uh, we got to the end and uh, I said we're going to be making a self-portrait of us wearing a mask and then uh, we, we pull the, the tab and then uh, you, we actually get to see your smiling face and see what you look like without the mask. And so uh, this idea uh, came from uh, Cassie Stevens, an art teacher uh, from Tennessee. And so I'm going to show you my steps, and you, I'm also going to be posting uh, her video if you'd like to see uh, how she does it. Uh, she go, she'll go a little quicker than I, but uh, I'm going to uh, start from the very beginning of uh, uh, folding our paper. So if you have your paper like mine, it's horizontal, and if you put uh, one hand here and you held the paper one hand here, and a count of three, we'll touch our fingers together, and I'll know everybody has folded. Uh, fold their paper the correct way. So one, two, three. And what we do is we touch our fingers together and then hold it with one hand. I'm going to lay mine flat on the table. I try to match my corners the best I can and then I give it a good crease. Okay, so basically we folded our paper in half. So we fold from one side to the other side. Now if you turn it horizontal, so it looks like a horizontal rectangle. What we're going to do is if you have the open end at the top, meaning this is, uh, I can open it like a, a book, we're going to take the top half of the paper and we're going to fold it back and we're going to take the top edge and touch it to the bottom and give it a good crease. And that's it. So again, uh, we uh, take our paper fold it in half, take the top layer of paper and take the top and touch it to the bottom which is the, the crease of the other fold and you crease it together. Okay. So now what we're going to do is uh, we have the top, we're going to be drawing the top of our head here and then we're going to draw the bottom of our, our face here and that, this is the part that will actually have the mask. I'm uh, using a Sharpie. Uh, you can actually, uh, if you're doing this at home, you can do it with a pencil uh, and then you can uh, outline the, the parts that you like. Um, but I'm going to use a Sharpie so that you can actually see what I'm um, drawing. So anything above the fold will not change. So we're going to actually start with the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, here in the center. I'm going to draw one hump that comes up and then back down. That's one eye. And this is the second eye. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect. I'm sort of using the uh, fold um, as a sort of a, a guide for a straight line. Now if this is the, uh, the eyeball, this is the white part of the eye. And then if I draw a smaller half circle here and here, this is the uh, iris. This is the color part of the eye. And if I do it one more time, and then I'm going to sort of color the uh, the bottom, uh, color this uh, shape in, or at least most of it. And it is the uh, the the pupil uh, uh, part of the eye. It's the black part of the eye. Everybody has eyelashes, guys. Uh, for some reason, we usually don't draw them, uh, but if, uh, if you want. And, uh, we all have eyelashes, so I'm, I'm going to put a few. Um, but girls usually make like to make theirs a little longer. Eyebrows, we all have eyebrows. Now, depending on how you do your eyebrows, it will actually help you uh, create a mood. If they're curved like this, a uh, high uh, and uh, sort of slight curved up, it usually the, it shows that you're happy. It's a good emotion. And so I'm going to draw my eyebrows there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, uh, if we're going to draw like a, a big huge hump line or a curved line that goes from here all the way over uh, the, the head. Uh, so we'll, basically we're going to sort of jump. But uh, the problem is if I start, I'm going to sort of leave that top blank and come back down on this side because our, uh, your bangs or your hair uh, is going to sort of uh, help fill in that gap. If I'm drawing with a pencil, let's see if I can do it real quick. If I draw with a pencil, 
go all the way across, I can always erase that line if I don't need it. Because this is actually our scalp. Our hair grows out of the scalp. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, draw my hair coming down. Uh, my hair sort of has this uh, unusual curve. And then we draw our hair on the outside. So if I have big curly hair, draw big curly hair. If your hair is long, you can actually make it long uh, come down on this side as well. And so uh, oh, I forgot my little hump for an ear, a little hump for my ear. And then I have a little cowlick in the back. And then I'm just going to sort of uh, make up my hair as I go. So that's roughly uh, what I think my hair uh, will look like. Now, for the bottom half, what we're going to do is we're going to continue our face and we're going to make a big U. So it goes all the way, almost touches the bottom of the um, the fold, the bottom of the fold, but not quite. And I curve right back up. Uh, and then I'm going to put like a small hump in between the eyes. And this is where the mask comes in. So it goes up to the nose and slightly back down. Now, you can design your mask however you want. You can have polka dots, you can have stripes, you can have hearts. You can actually put your superhero logo uh, on there if you like. So what I'm going to do is sort of uh, my logo, but I'm going we'll to make it like our school's logo. Uh, the flash. Uh, we are the purple flash, but a lot of times people color the lightning bolt yellow. Uh, but if I want to color my flash purple, I'm going to give it a little outline, then I might be able to color that um, yellow. So it looks like a purple flash with a yellow glow to it. And then if I add some action lines, make it like more exciting. And then I can draw a uh, line. You can design your mask however you like. You could have flowers on it, it could have stripes, it could have polka dots, uh, or anything like that. Now, uh, I'm wearing glasses, so if I'm wanting to add glasses, and you do not have to add glasses if you're not wearing them. So I'm going to add a circle around that eye. And you don't get to see all of the glasses because of the mask. So I'm going over the eye. And then I got a little, little part in the middle that connects the two. A little rectangular square on both sides. And then I draw back to the ear. Don't forget to draw your neck. One, two. So we, uh, it's a number 11, but I spread the number 11 out uh, quite a ways. Um, give it a distance so it looks like um, uh, your, uh, your neck. If I did a really skinny number 11, you'd have a really uh, skinny uh, neck. So the next part is to open it up. So if I open it, So now the bottom half of our mask is way down here at the bottom, and I can just sort of fold that under if it's distracting. And now what I need to do is I have that folded line, and maybe really hard to see, but I've got this folded line right here in the center. I'm going to use that just like we use the bottom of this line to help me with uh, where the chin is going to go. So if I fold that open or unfold it, and so I'm going to start here and we'll make almost all the way down to, to the bottom of that fold and I'm just going to make a big huge U. And we'll come right back up. And if you notice the bottom of your ears are missing and so I'm going to just finish those little looks like a C or a backward C. Finish my ears. Um, I can now add my nose. You can make your nose uh, any way that you want. I'm doing like a backward C. Uh, you can just draw a hump line for the nose, or you can make the letter uh, a backwards L or uh, upside down 7 for your nose. You can make your nose however you like. I'm going to finish my glasses now so I can go back. I don't really, you don't really draw the bottom of your eyes because if you're smiling, uh, your cheeks will push your eyes up like that. And so it looks like you're, you're happy. And we hope that you're happy. So here, 
you can make us uh, see we want to see that big smiling face of yours and you can make your smile any way that you want so if I draw like the parentheses and a big huge U there's the other parentheses uh, and then I can actually make the mouth wide open um, I can off center it like this I can draw uh, one hump two hump for a tongue uh, if you if you're uh, if you have uh, if you want to draw the teeth you can uh, if you are have lost a couple of teeth um, you know you can sort of black them in and uh, I'm going to sort of color between the teeth and the uh, tongue uh, black so it's really really dark in there that's where cookies go uh, and so there's there's my smile uh, but now we've got all this room that we can actually add a uh, neck and uh, shoulders and see sort of what your uh, your a uh, little bit of, of some of your clothes so I'm going to make the number 11 for the uh, neck uh, again uh, if I just make a sort of a U uh, and you could be wearing a t-shirt but uh, I have a collar and I like to wear art ties and so I'm going to make a uh, but again, you're, you're, you draw this to make it uh, the way that you want. Uh, and so I'm just sort of showing you some examples. And then I can put on my art tie. And I can actually decorate my tie. Uh, but uh, talk about shoulders. So if this is my neck, I'm going to just come over and just come down. If I'm wearing short sleeves, I'd probably end about right here on my short sleeves and make that uh, skin colors for my arm. Uh, we can draw a little line that separates the arm from our body. Uh, I have a, usually I have a, a shirt pocket. And that's where my uh, ink pen lives if I'm uh, using it. Uh, and I also uh, wear my name tag. So, you know, we really like this to look like you. And the more little details that you put in, I think uh, the better, uh, the cooler it looks. And so this is you uh, when you're not wearing your mask, all happy and smiling um, and, and sort of having a, a good time. And so if I go back to close it, this is when we become our superheroes and we mask up to help keep the people around us uh, healthy and safe. And then when we're um, out and about and, uh, and maybe at home, uh, and you can unmask, or if you're at a safe distance, then you can take your mask off and you're, and you're back to your, your normal identity. Now, the, what really makes this come to life is actually coloring it. Now, I did one earlier. Did you, I, I know you did uh, want, just want to set and watch me uh, color. So I did one earlier, and you, you can see the, the, how uh, drastically it changes. Uh, in full color and then when I open it it's sort of a surprise uh, there I am I'm wearing a polo shirt instead of uh, the other shirt and I'm not wearing a tie uh, but I still put my uh, name name tag on and so masked and then a mask now as a really really quick uh, there I am mask unmask uh, for for the uh, my girls in my class I just wanted to show you real quickly about ha uh, different hairstyles so if I take my sheet of paper fold in half I open it bend the top down so it touches the bottom I draw uh, sort of like capital D's on their backs I'm going to do this really quickly because I'm just mainly trying to show different hairstyles. So there's the curve for the color of the eye. There's the uh, black part of the eye. Uh, the eyelashes. The eye rails. And again, if I wanted to draw that curve that jumps over the eyebrows and the eyes and comes back down. 
that is actually our scalp. But now I can sort of play with different hairstyles. And so if I have really curly hair, you know, if I had bangs, I would draw the bangs. But if I had really curly hair, oops. You might see my ears. You know, you just, uh, you, you, uh, you can go out and fill up the whole page. And if I had pigtails, you know, I could uh, do pigtails that are all tied up. Again, I pick up and make the big U for my, for the chin. I mean, bring the hair on down, bring the ear down. And then you make the heel that goes up and slightly back down and then you can design your mask however you want this is really similar to um, the portrait that uh, Miss Stevens uh, drew so I'm sort of getting inspiration from her and then uh, I'll also post uh, her a video if you want to watch uh, her draw her designs she'll draw a boy and a girl uh, like I have done and then you draw the neck. So again, if I open it up, I like to fold this under so it's not distracting. I'm going to continue that U all the way down to here. This is for our chin. She's smiling from one ear to the next. Oh, I almost forgot her nose. I just did a little hump line for her nose. And then show you how to do the mouth a little different. That's wide open. And what if this young lady is missing one tooth? And then I can just sort of shade that in. And uh, Miss Stevens, actually, uh, she has, uh, you can write words that uh, help represent you. Kind, superhero, uh, care about others, uh, very, uh, really smart. Um, and so, you know, what makes you, makes you happy. Uh, so that's just one way. Yeah, you know, I could also draw in the hair, I'll draw it with a pencil. Uh, instead of being curly, if you got a straight hair, it could have come down, uh, all the way down to the shoulders if uh, if you have really really long hair and so then I again I'd color this in so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to flip my screen around and show you too that uh, Miss Stevens has done and then you can decide if you want to watch her video too uh, just to uh, uh, see how she does it here we are back uh, uh, looking at some of uh, Cassie Stevens uh, her mass superhero, uh, super kids, uh, self-portraits. Uh, you can sort of see the girl that she drew and all of the words um, uh, that she wrote being kind, silly, smart. Uh, and this is what they, uh, she did a, a girl and a boy. And you can sort of see the, um, I also like what she did to the background too. And she's just using crayons. Um, and then when you open them, they look like this. And you see their smiles. I like how she's got the, Kids smile off to the side. You, again, you can sort of see a different way she did her nose. Uh, she gave this little girl just a little bit of a chin, a big smile. This kid's missing a few of his teeth or just got two teeth, actually. And so, again, I, I, I like this uh, super duper, uh, silly, considerate, being happy, thoughtful, uh, awesome, and smart, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, good uh um, meaningful words that represent uh, uh, you um, and you know again we're, we're trying to be uh, be the flash uh, to be the best we can be uh, and I thought that was a really really cool uh, project and I just wanted to share that with you so again if you want to watch Cassie Stevens video you can uh, she goes a little quick but uh, if you watch mine first you can uh, sort of see the steps and just to see how she draws uh, hers. And she's fun uh, to listen to and watch. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, have a, a good weekend. Again, you do not have to turn these in. But if you do, I'd love to 
to see what you drew. Uh, if you're uh, in person, you want to bring them by uh, and, and me see them in person, that, that's great uh, uh, too. So uh, I think these also might be some uh, nice portraits to hang up either in our classrooms or out, out in the hall somewhere. So uh, enjoy, have a good time with it, have fun, um, be safe, and, um, and I'll post another art lesson uh, next Friday. So have a good time.